Let's learn in this video how you can install the eSign and KSign for iOS to install the IPA files. You're gonna go to this website here, coinbn.io.bn. Scroll down on this website and we're gonna first tap on install the NS profile. This is the first step, tap on allow. We can go to settings of iPhone. Inside the settings, you'll get profile downloaded, tap here and install the DNS profile that you get. It's fully trusted. Once it's installed, go back to the same website. And the second step is download certificate. Download. Once it's done, we're gonna come back to certificate later on. Now scroll down further on this website and come to this section here eSign Bypass Revoke. You'll get several versions of eSign and KSign here. Now the method of installing both the eSign and KSign are totally same. You're gonna find the version which is working as of right now. This site is frequently updated with new versions of eSign and KSign. So you're gonna have to regularly check this website. I know that this version here, TCL Household is totally working. And also you're gonna have to remember the version that you have installed. So tap on this version here. You can manually check for any version if these are working. Tap on install. Now if you go back to home screen to check. It's here, Keshine. If you launch it, it gives you error untrusted enterprise developer. So we can have to trust this developer inside the settings. Remember the name here because we'll need this name inside the certificate files too. So cancel and we're gonna trust now. Go to settings of iPhone once again. Go to general inside the settings. Scroll down, come to VPN, DNS and device management. And you'll see one enterprise app here. Tap on this enterprise app and trust this. Once it's been trusted, if you go back, now we can launch KSign and it totally launch. So the next step is to install the certificates here. Go to settings. Here's the certificate section here. So keep it just like this. Go back. Now we're gonna go to files and find the downloaded certificate. And the file is here. Source coin VN. Tap on this zipped file. And it's been unzipped. If you go inside the unzipped file, you're gonna find the version here that you have installed. Which is this one here. If you remember, I had installed this version of KSign. So we're gonna locate it inside the certificates of KSign. And inside the certificate, tap on plus and import cache and file go inside the source coin bin folder this one here so import this and it's done if you go back now we can import any ipa files go to library tap on plus and import the files support this one here and tap on it and then tap on sign and install install if you go back to home screen and it's here so now you can use it let me show you the method for eSign2. Go to the same website here. Install this one here. eSign install. The process for eSign is totally similar to KSign. There's only one difference. Let's go and launch eSign. If you try to launch the eSign, it will totally launch because we have already trusted the enterprise developer. Tap on agree. Now we can import the certificate file here. Tap on three dots and tap on import. Go to source coinbn folder once again here. And the file for eSign will have no logo. This one here. Import. It's been imported. Now you can import any IPA files. So that's how we can install these and in case and for iPhone, like this video and subscribe to this channel.